So um, let's move to the next example. The next example is an example of index, right? And I'm going to use a growling dog as an index that corresponds, in fact, to aggression, right? So the dog's growl is a sign of aggression, right? That's what, we're, that's what I'm asserting here, that, that it, and, which is to say that the dog might bite, right? The relate and the correlate, so the growling and the aggression, are distinguished. They're two different things. You know, growling could be a sign of something else, right? There's not, yeah? And so you can't prescind the quality of the relationship of relate to correlate from the, qu the quality from the, 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 the relationship of relate to correlate. That's, you, you can't understand the meaning of the growl while neglecting the relationship of the growl to the, to the biting, right? So, because those are two different things. Growling and biting are two different things. And you have to understand that the growl is a sign that that dog might bite, right? But you can prescind the correlate, so growling and biting, from the interpretant, right? So we're saying that we can ignore the interpretant even though we're looking at that relationship of growling to biting. And the, the reason that we can ignore it is because there is a correspondence in fact between the growling and the biting, which is to say that it's not a, an imputed quality, but there's a factual relationship between the growling and the biting, which is to say that both of them share the quality of this feeling of animosity that the dog has. Right? So the, the dog is not going to growl if it's happy. Right? And there's a kind of sense in which there's no, the dog's not kind of controlling the growl as a kind of arbitrary sign. Right? Like, you know, like, like the word man or something like that. It can assign a different meaning to the growl. So that there's a kind of factual relationship between the growl and the animosity and between the biting and the animosity. So the growling and the biting are both, in sense, they, ha they share the quality of, of this feeling of animosity. Right? So, so, the, so we, what we've got then is this shared quality right, that means that it can be an index Right? It's not possible to change the meaning of the growl so that it would mean friendship. And the interpretant then is sort of the safety of the observer, right? who's going to be concerned whether that dog is going to bite. Right? And that's essentially the way the dog is trying to you know, communicate that threat um, to, the, um, to the observer as well. Right?